Today, I am so excited to announce the Bass Shell is coming to Windows. Yes, the real Bash is coming to Windows. This is not a VM. This is not cross-compiled tools. This is native Ubuntu Linux binaries running on Windows through the magic of a new Windows subsystem. We partnered with Canonical to deliver this great console experience, which you'll be able to download directly from the Windows Store. Inside of Bash, you have access to the native file system, VT100 support, SSH, and all of your favorite command line tools. Let's dive into the tech and take a look. So here I have a website. I'm running in the Edge browser. This is just a Ruby website that we built. Um, it's hosted in a uh, Azure VM, a Linux VM in Azure. Uh, and I, can all, I also built a hosted web app uh, with it. So I can just launch that app. All I had to do was take the URL, create a name for it, and submit it to the Windows Store. And it produced an AppX for me that downloads when the user downloads it right here. And so I haven't added anything extra to it yet, but I want to. I want to start making this thing come alive and do better. So I'm going to add uh, the ability to take, this is a banking app, so I decided to take you know, the ability to use the native camera and really get a great camera experience on the device like you'd expect. So I'm going to hop over here to Bash. So here you can see, I just do LS, so I can see my local system. I'm going to move over uh, to uh, my C drive, the all nice auto completion here. Uh, then I just uh, first of all, I'm going to go modify my JavaScript. So there's two parts, my JavaScript that comes down that lights up and uses the Windows functionality, and then I need to change my uh, Ruby code on the back end. So, and of course, my favorite editor is Emacs. So I'm going to use Emacs, but you can use all, any of your favorites. They're all there, so everybody can choose the one that they enjoy the most. So here, uh, you'll see here in my JavaScript, that I do a, an if check here first. This is how I make sure I can share my code. If I'm running inside of the application, I just check to see whether the Windows is, the definition is there. If it is, then I have access to all the Windows APIs. If not, then I'm being hosted in the browser and I don't light up this code. And you can see here, I'm just calling the standard uh, WinRT APIs that I get access to, and I can get that native experience because they are the native app APIs that I'm actually calling. So I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to uh, SSH in. To my Linux VM in Azure there. I'm going to try to figure out my password. Um, so here, what I'll do is, I'll again, use Emacs. I'll modify this file. So you know, like on all these demos, I'm just going to uncomment some code, because it just takes too long to actually go modify it all. So I'm going to uncomment that code there in Ruby. It's saved. All I now need to do is uh, restart that application so I get the latest uh, version. So I'll just pop over here, launch it. Uh, you might notice here it added a new menu item. That's what my UI did. So I can say uh, scan check here and they get this native experience. I got this uh, check here from uh, Giorgio for $1,000, uh, but I'm really not going to actually take the picture because last time it bounced. So <laughs> I'm just going to exit out of here uh, and be done. So, you know, with Bash coming to Windows, we're bringing the power of open source command line tools to Windows. 